Hi there! This tutorial will show you how to use the organogram chart using the WPERP's HR module. To find the chart, go to HR, People, and then click on the Organogram Chart tab. This is how the chart will look like. To build the chart, let's start from scratch. Let's first add an employee. Go to Employee, then click on Add New. Now set the employee profile. Now click on the box for Advanced Fields. Now set the department from the drop-down list, or you can also create a new department. Next, set the job title. No names will appear in the reporting section because this employee is the only one in our organization. We will create more employees later on to set the organogram chart. Click Create Employee to finish. You will be shown the full profile of this very employee that you just created. The Job tab section down below will let you make changes if you want to change an employee's position within the chart. If you go back to People and click on the Organogram chart, you will see your first employee is being listed. Now let's go back to Employees and add another employee. Set the profile just like before. We are speeding up the process. But when you get to the Reporting To section, you will see a name. Select this name to make this new employee accountable to the name you have chosen in the list. Now save the changes. Here is the profile of this newly created employee. If you click on the Job tab and check the Job Information section, you will see this new employee is accountable to the listed name you chose. Now let's go back to the chart. This is what the chart will look like. Let's add another employee to another department. Go to Employee and add another employee just like before. As usual, we are speeding up this process. This time, we will assign this employee to the teacher's department. In this case, we won't be reporting this employee to these names belonging to the IT department. Now save this profile. Now add another employee for the teacher's department. Set the profile of the employee as usual. This time, this very employee will be reporting to the name that belongs to the teacher's department. You can check this assignment by going to the Job tab of this new employee's profile. Now let's go back to the chart to check this update in the Organogram chart. This is what the chart will look like. You can also filter the chart based on the department of your organization. Here's another example of two employees who are accountable to one employee. Here's another example of an organization with a larger hierarchy. So if you're an organization that is growing too fast, track it all down using our organogram chart 
to map the hierarchy of your business using the WP ERP's HR module. For more videos on managing your business activities on your WordPress site, be sure to check out WP ERP and subscribe to our channel.